Hello everyone and welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are going to get to our two final arrivals at Mars for this window and then we're going to bring our crew back home from our space station after their 90 day stay. But first I think we have enough money to upgrade things and unlock things. So first of all I'm going to modify the existing launch complex to suit our Nerva 2 launch and that mainly entails increasing the height limit and getting the GSE right. It costs a bundle, but uh, and actually the upkeep cost is going to be increased, but we'll take that in lieu of actually building a new pad for now. The new pad would cost another million or so, and if we want to unlock the Nerva, we can't do that right now and still build a new pad. Well, eventually we'll have enough money for it, but I think we'll just start with this option first. So, modifying, and uh, we don't have anything that's pressing yet. The Mars window is in 700, sorry, 373 days, and uh, this will take about 90 days. And we'll also unlock the Nerva, Nerva 2 in particular, 100, well, sorry, 1,327,000 entry cost. Okay, and then I also slapped on these radiators, so just in case they help with the boil off so we'll unlock those and that unlocks everything for this Nerva 2 launch should we want to do it <laughs> well anyway we'll we were all set up here for now and let's go on to the Mars missions so here we are with the Mars tug and that periapsis is just a little bit low uh, but we can probably correct that when we get closer right now it's too sensitive we just got into Mars SOI and of course we are not trying to aerobrick with this we are trying to get into orbit and then um, a loose orbit will be fine so it can rendezvous with whatever it needs to help this just the Mars tug and yeah we will need to stay in a high orbit so that if something gets into a very different orbit it can more easily rendezvous with it and tug it to where it needs to go hopefully but how much propellant we will we have for that? I don't know. This was just a contingency mission. It's not super, super necessary. Ah, the other one's coming in, though. This is all complicated. So I'm going to actually boost it up a little bit right now. We'll pay attention to it when it gets close to periapsis, which is where it's intersecting Phobos's orbit, so that's good. And it'll take about 1,200 to do a very loose capture, and we'll leave it like that. So, adding that alarm. And we'll let this be still spinning in the right direction for sunlight. Now this mission is going to aim for Deimos, and we didn't really land on Phobos. So we would like to land on Deimos at least. And it's possible that this has enough propellant in it to land on both. Like, we'll land on Deimos first, get off of Deimos, and then try to get to Phobos. It's possible, I think. Uh, we do still have oxygen in this tank, but all the hydrogen boiled off. So that's one reason I slapped little radiators on the nervous stage. I don't know if that'll be enough, but we'll find out. As far as uh, boil off is concerned here, well, right now it's not saying anything. Out here, there's no boil off for... Actually, there wasn't much boil off for the oxygen anyway. I wish I had gotten the actual uh, wattage for the hydrogen boil off so that in theory, the radiator could cover that, but for now, we don't have a number on that. So, and actually, the Nerva 2 stage will be much larger than this, so it's not... Well, we'll, we'll just have to scale it up somehow. Uh, scale the number, I mean. Once we get a number, once we get a number. But for now, we don't have a number on that. Out here, because we're further away from the sun, it's possible that the Nerva stage wouldn't even have much boil off here, but... It has to get here. Well, it never gets here. The nervous stage stays in orbit around Earth anyway. Periapsis isn't exactly where I want it to be, and it's also a lot higher than I want it to be. So... Maybe we'll do a correction. Okay, hopefully that'll be better. Let me go to that node. We're still using the RCS on this stage. Back to sun. Doesn't seem to be getting good electric charge right now, but once we time warp, it'll be in the hibernation mode, so that'll be alright. 
So yeah, it's still recharging in hibernation mode. And once we dump the stage, it'll be better off. All right, so that is in a good position. And we will also capture. Two capture burns will be pretty close together. Okay, so that alarm. And back to the tug. Gosh, I should see Mars by now. Oh, there we are. I really don't need it to force roll every time. Okay, mission. We have an imbalance between Erosine and NTO here. Well, I mean, it's possible that the AJ-10-190 has a very different mix. Okay, I didn't really need it to do that. Um, has a very different mix than these little guys, the 3.6 kilonewton thrusters. So I'll need to review that. That's a pretty big imbalance. I didn't think it'd be that different. They could have done us a favor in... Uh, not AJ-10-190, the advanced short nozzle. Did us a favor and matched the numbers for the AJ-10. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of things that use Erosine and NTO, and the AJ-10 is pretty prominent for that. So having 3.6 kN thrusters that had the same mix as the AJ-10-138 would have been nice, but oh well. I guess that's not the case. So yeah, I'll have to check on that. We could get better efficiency with this if they're balanced properly. All right, so anyway, it is in orbit and it's got 2,500 meters per second to push stuff with, but it have to get to that stuff first. And so whether it's useful or not, I don't know. At worst, it's a relay satellite and it is hanging out. All right, so to the Ike one that is headed for Deimos. Okay, time for orientation and to dump the stage. Let's just get rid of it now. All right, ignition. And we have captured. And that should be good enough for now. Okay, so there I think we have a bare tangency and uh, we have our inclination corrected and it's 234.3 meters per second. So that's good. And well, we're not quite recharging right now. I'll reorient. Well, I better reorient now. That'll throw us off a little bit, though. Catching up to that tug. <laughs> Very similar orbits, not quite the same. Um, why is that maneuver node like nowhere near my orbit? <laughs> uh, I guess turning really changed things, huh? Well, hopefully it's good enough, but boy, yeah, that's a big difference, suddenly. I just plotted it. Well, good enough, whatever. Okay, we'll try that anyway. Okay, well... We've got 0.07 relative inclination, but for something as small as Deimos, that's not good enough. We will, uh, we'll see though. Let me get a maneuver down here. And, whoop. Oh, we do get an encounter, so I guess it is good enough. All right, so that's what we will do. That's just 170 for an encounter, but we'll have to pull it down further than that. We've got 2,852, so you can see why I say that we could potentially get to Phobos as well, but we have to, like, not kill this, so there is that. Oh, no! I killed it! <laughs> I did I wasn't paying attention to the electric charge. Oh, no. Uh, hopefully, as we come around, it'll get some back. Okay, well, we'll have to pay attention to this later. Eventually, it can get to Deimos, but right now, it's not so, uh, because it doesn't have power. Whoops. Just as I said, I shouldn't kill it. There, I did it. But, well, it's not, it's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. Um, time. Let's check up on it in, like, 50 days. And maybe you'll be in a better position with respect to the sun. I don't know. It's not... 
It depends on which way around it's going. I forget whether it's going to be butt end to the sun next or whether it's going to start getting to be nose to the sun. But yeah, we'll have to just wait on it. It is in an extended hibernation mode. We'll just get rid of... Well, we can't delete maneuvers. All right. All right, back to tracking station. Let's focus on the crewed mission. Okay, just checking where we're at. They need to stay here for another 18 days, it looks like. Supplies are fine, but getting a little bit tighter. And as far as they are concerned, 7% stress for Barbell, 7% uh, stress for Mohammed, and 7% for Sarolta. So that's not too bad. Uh, so I'll time warp in the tracking station and come back after, let's say, 20 days. And then we will, so September 23rd, and then we'll bring them back. Okay, so I think it is time to return, and let's see here. Oh, wait, it's still... Oh, no! Oh, no, this is 180 days. Whew. I was worried for a sec there. Okay, we completed 90 days, and it's on to 180 days. That's tempting, but actually we would have to resupply with food and everything. So uh, let's just bring them back. It was supposed to be 90 days. So off goes the Neko. Temporarily control from there. And then control from the cockpit. Okay, so we wait until we're lined up again. We have plenty of Delta V. Let's get away from the station a little bit more definitively. Mission. Engines are still good. Oh, that's good enough. And then we'll round that out. Yep, it'll unfortunately be right in the middle of the night. I'm wondering if I should wait one more orbit or just go for it now. I think we can just go for it. Okay, so we will deorbit on this orbit. And 173 degrees, we'll say. Okay, ignition. Well, that should get us to relatively the same place. Dumping the extra fuel. Just keeping a little bit for the fuel cell. Alright. We are under 17 tons, so that's normal. And we will switch engines. Okie dokie. Well, hopefully, hopefully our coordinates are still correct. And so we'll have our little reference there. Not that I can do much about it. It's all pretty much set at this point. Okay, we're getting redder here. 90 kilometers in altitude. Still falling short, it says. But we should start picking up a bit. We've got cockpit overheating, but we're starting to go up. Well, we're not starting to go up. We're starting to get to zero vertical speed. It's getting really hot on the engine. I didn't notice that before. Please live, little engine. Please live. We're going up now. Okay, I think it's cooling off, but geez. Hopefully we're not falling too far short, but right now we are. Okay, now that target difference is closing. Alright, had me worried, but we'll see. Touchy business. We're not going that fast anymore. I did do the retro burn a little bit earlier than before because we kept overshooting. Gonna dump the waste and waste water now. Uh oh. Okay, I was gonna dump the waste and waste water. Hold on. Uh, let me dump some water. 
I'm not supposed to dump the food. That's illegal. Okay, well, it's having trouble holding 40, so I'm gonna go to 35. To sell it down. Looks like we were a little bit nose heavy there. Probably just too much supplies in the front. Well, normally we overshoot, this time we're undershooting. So maybe the answer lies between the two e orbit points. Hopefully I can glide a little bit. Okay, nominal flight status. Maybe it'll be alright. Okay, maybe we need to slow down more. Air brakes. Okay, we can probably manage this now that's going down. Ah, we see the clouds, really. The clouds of the terrain there. I always have trouble seeing the actual space center, though. Oh, there. It must be there. Looking very smooth. Okay, well, I'll take control here. Well, okay, that's a lot of firing of that stuff. So... Still can't see the Space Center very well. I think I sort of see the runway over there. So I think the re-entry was a little bit more accurate this time than last time. Oh gosh, it's really tough to say. Night landings. We're still pretty high up, considering our distance to the runway. Up, 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 come on. To the right, to the right. Ah, uh, the angle's not good. Shoot. Okay. And we're down. Coming in from the opposite direction this time than most of the previous times, I think. Okay, another successful return for the Neko system. Let us recover vessel. Okay, so I maintain that we have done the 90-day thing. The 90-day stay at the station. I gave it two extra days because we had to get to the station as well. Uh, so that is complete. And based on that, since there were no objections, I think, uh, I'm going to say that we've done the 60-day and 90-day. And I'm going to remove those as requirements for the program. Because for some reason I can't pick up the contracts, but we functionally did them. And so, as far as the program is concerned, work in progress and very buggy. We're going to solve that problem by saying that these two can be removed. But we are making money on it, so maybe I won't hurry on that. So let's, uh, let's wait a little bit. We did want to do some other planets missions, though. Those could give us money, but it's probably not as much money. Was there anything? I forget uh, if there was anything that could even approach the kind of money that we are making here. We've got basically no ability to get the fast stuff. Yeah, I'll wait just a little bit until we accumulate some more funds potentially for a new pad and then we'll finish that program. But as far as I'm concerned we're done with that program and we should focus on our Mars stuff. So anyway, ELA-6 is still being renovated and Let's wait until it is all renovated before checking up on our probe. At some point in the year, it must be turned towards the sun. Hopefully, hopefully. Not yet, apparently. We could be building something else, but... Oh, uh, you know what? 
uh, while we're getting this into position. Let me get the Nerva 2 launch started. I think we can. Let's check. Okay, well, it's not complaining down there. So, but the Delta V is suddenly less than I thought it was. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Why did that happen, I wonder? Well, we can underfuel this just a smidge more. I want to safely get to orbit after all. We did add the RCS tanks. We're no longer using the Hydrolox RCS, we're using just the Airzine NTO. And we have definitely changed the thrusters for that, but yeah, I'll just underfuel a little bit more to make it safer. Okay, well, we'll see if that's okay or not, but right, we are building one. And I'm just sending all our staff, 2,500 engineers, to build this Nerva thing. And it'll still take like six months, though. Maybe this is not the best thing to build. Well, this is why we want to have a Nerva that has a lot of ignitions, right? The nuclear engines with less ignitions, the amount of time it takes to build them and deploy them is just too much. And, you know, the, the cost inside doesn't tell the whole story. We have all the engineering... Well, I mean, they show the engineering cost as well. But yeah, yeah, it's going to take a bit. Good thing we're getting started. Let's see about that probe. You can see the sun scooching into the right place. Uh, I could have sworn it'd be getting power by now. Um, yeah. Oh, I had to come out of time warp. Okay, no. Uh, go to sundown immediately. There we go. Okay, but I've had enough mischief for this particular episode. We need to get rid of that maneuver and do a new one. Uh, I think I'll let this recharge and next time we'll try and land it on Phobos and Deimos. And at least we've got it back alive. And we, But we've wasted some time. I could probably have been building some other stuff for Mars for the next window as well. I've been too concerned with this little guy. And so that wasn't very efficient of me. But we will see. At least we have uh, functionally completed the space station program. And that is a big thing. So as I try and get myself a new maneuver here. Well, I'll do that off camera. I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.